I got scammed 100 times in Adopt Me. 90% of players are apparently scammers. So let's get scammed. But first, we needed a disguise. ABC for trust trade, but you first of a ride pet. All right, let's trust this. Apparently, I have to give them a ride pet in this trust trade, but I have to go first. Let's find out, will I get scammed via a trust trade? Now, I need to pick a pet that I don't care about getting scammed. So I'm gonna give away Sandy the Otter to I zip something number 23. All right, will I get scammed on my ride otter? Honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna double check saying you will give it back, right? And let's find out, will she say yes? Is she gonna try and convince me I'll get it back? Yes, okay, uh, let's find out. Will I actually get scammed? Um, but they left! No, no, we got scammed, guys. Okay, let's pull up one of my multiple trading licenses. That's right, I have two of them. And let's see this trade. You see this report. Uh, what happened? Trust trade. Uh, yeah, don't, don't do trust trades, guys. Goodbye to you. I mean, I'm not getting that pet back, but if I do, I've never received a scammed pet back. I guess my otter's now there. Someone took all of my pets. Now, this one is sometimes a scam, but it could be true. The scam behind this is that they're trying to make you feel bad and sad for them and hopes that they go and get a free pet out of it. And after they go and get a free pet, they typically just leave the server and beg for more pets. So this guy's just gonna have a general conversation with me. They said, hello, can you help me? I mean, there's only one way to help you, buddy. By kidnapping you. That's right, we've upped the stakes. I will kidnap you. You see this? Do not throw people into the water. Well, we could do it anyway. Yeah, ha ha ha, this is what happens. Wait, no, come back here to me. I I'm gonna trade you, buddy. Let me, let me trade you, let me trade you. Come here, come here, bro. Okay, there we go, there we go. What do you want? What's your pet? I help. Hello. He's pretending that I didn't just kidnap him. <laughs> Apparently they have no pets, which I'm pretty sure no one could ever have absolutely no pets, but we're just going to go and give them this cat and find out if they're scamming or not. So the ultimate quiz is after this person's received my pet, are they still going to go run around and tell people that they have no pets? Or will they be happy that I just gave them a free cat? This person just said, give my pet back. What? No way. No way, give my pet back? That means they gave them a pet as well. They are a scammer then. What, did they steal their pet? Bro said what pet? But this guy literally just said he has no pets and now this person is saying that they gave them a pet. So yes, I guess this person is a scammer. They said they have zero pets possible. Meanwhile, they actually been taking pets from a bunch of players and just lying, I guess. Scammer busted. You're going to scam jail. I think we just exposed the person so much that they're crying now. What? Mama, okay, you know what? I I will leave you two to to know what you want to do, bro. What in the world? She just kidnapped him and called him mum. Honestly, I don't know what I just witnessed. You want to know what's funny? Is that that same person who claims to have zero pets is now going back into the chat and saying someone took all of my pets and is trying to convince other players that they have absolutely no pets. And they're literally just spamming the cry emoji, but I literally just gave them a pet and so did other players. This basically means you can't trust half of the players on Adopt Me if they say they're poor. Trading a lot of Megas for Robux. Well, 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 that is actually a scam and will get you banned from the game. But let's find out what Sarah has. Did you know that cross trading actually counts as a bannable offense and you shouldn't ever go and do it? Wait a second, this person genuinely does have all of these mega neon pets, which is kind of crazy. Wait, they just keep adding. Oh, wow. So yeah, don't trust these as there's no way that you'd actually get the Robux. There's no proof. If you gave them the Robux, they'd probably never give you the pets. So never trust these types of scenarios. So I'm gonna give them a heads up saying that, you know, selling pets gets you banned. And they said, how? What do you mean, how? There are so many people out there that actually don't know that selling pets for Robux will get you banned. And it's also a commonly used scam that players go and do to try and convince you. This person literally just confessed saying that they did a bunch of cross trades before you never got banned. Guys, never trust anyone that is going and selling pets and it's actually against every single Roblox rule.
Who wants to buy everything I touch? I think 100% everyone will ignore me and say no ABC. What is this a scam? Apparently I get an egg food processor. What does that even mean? Honestly, I don't know if this is a scam, but I've seen multiple people talk about this being a scam. 500 bucks? Oh, no thank you. I was gonna tell him I got 100 bucks so I don't get scammed, I guess. 100 can too? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Whatever they touch for 100 bucks, they get. One minute starts now. What are they gonna buy for 100 bucks? Honestly, I don't know. Come, what is this? 70 bucks? Oh dear. Okay, so we've got this. Now what? 30 bucks left. What could they possibly want for 30 bucks? Give item from inventory. Okay, give item from hand. Do I want to give him my small gift? I know. What What else do you want for 30 bucks? Apparently, I'm going to get some rare food out of this. Apparently, let's follow them, I guess. Yeah, because I really want an egg food processor or whatever they just said. There is no way there is anything in this place for 30 bucks. They want one of these? These things are free. I mean, you can take it. These things are literally free every hour. I'm just gonna tell them the time's up. I only gave them a minute and they just said, oh, oh. Apparently I get food or an egg. They asked why did I trade and I told them what they promised. Did Lana scam? Let's find out. <laughs> they just said, oh, I meant that I wanted a food or an egg. Oh no. They just said, sorry, I give everything back. Are they actually giving this stuff back to me? They can keep it. I'm gonna tell them to open the gift. Let's see what they get. If they get a legendary, I will laugh. Yeah, they can keep that. It's it's literally just an envelope, so be happy, I guess. Literally within one second, the same person is back asking for the exact same thing. Let's find out if anyone's gonna try and scam me into thinking that this bee is worth nothing. I'm gonna tell everyone that it's my only pet and convince them that I'm a noob. What? Why would you add a golden unicorn? There's no way you're accepting that. And if they do, that, that is insane, honestly. They're definitely taking that away. I mean, it's not really a bad offer, but this costs Robux, and we're trying to find someone who will scam me. Someone sent me a trade. I'm just gonna go and ask, what's it worth? I am new to see if they can try and convince me that it's only worth a cat. And if they try and convince me that it's only worth a dog or a cat, then... Oh, uh, what? What do you mean, oh, okay? Okay, we just got a new trade, and this person is offering me a common ant for a Robux Ultra Rare. And let's find out, is this person gonna try and scam me and convince me into thinking that the ant is good? They just said, please trade. Are they gonna try and convince me or not? This person is kind of freaking out right now, saying the bee is ultra rare and the ant is common. And they're just saying, I don't know. <laughs> they just said, this is better. Oh, now we've got two commons. They've just convinced me that this is a good offer. So the scam here is that they try and rely on new players and trying to convince them that they're going and getting a good trade. Meanwhile, they're actually just going and getting a really bad trade and since the player is new, they actually don't know the values. So Emmy, I guess I will honor this video and unfortunately give my pets away to scammers. Why am I doing this? I don't know. All right, Emmy, take take your B and in return again and and a tapir. <laughs> I regret this video so much already. Trust trading my only pet. Who wants it? Oh, we got a trade. Will the trust trade get me scammed? Except. All right, let's find out. Will Hold scam me or not? And they traded me back. Oh, wait, they just declined it. Holes, where did you go? I actually thought they'd give it back to me. Did they just leave? Hello, my only pet. Literally, they just stole it. Is this, is this you? You stole my pet? Now they, are they gonna trade me back because I called them out? Are they? Okay, maybe they, they might give it back. I'm sorry. What? If they'd hit the client again, that's gonna be hilarious. I mean, you could take it if you want. It's only a cat. They actually, they actually gave it to me. Okay, I, I guess they're not a scammer. We could take them off the list. I asked them, is their offer a good trade for my bad dragon? Let's find out what they say. Yes and no. What do you mean, yes and no? I mean, I guess they're not wrong. It's a good trade for them, but not me. It's a good offer. There is no way you can convince anyone that a fool's egg is worth a neon fly ride bat dragon. It's a good offer, but this is my dream pet. The boots are exclusive. Oh, wow, you're really trying to sell me on it now. 
Are they really trying to think that these boots are going to make me accept the trade? People try to just take advantage of new players or people who don't know pets' values. Which results in people going and doing some of the most ridiculous trades possible, such as this person currently trying to convince me that this is a good trade. When it definitely is like the worst trade I have ever seen. Oh, here we go. ABC for Picador. Let's go. I want to play Picador. And so does this person. We're about to get double scammed. They said, okay, let's get scammed. We got to teleport to Jessica's house. Jessica, this is not your scamming house, is it? This is the Picador scam house. Give me a legendary pet to play win a ride, mummy cat. Well, well, well. Do I pick blue or pink? A ride mummy cat. Is there like any proof that this is real? Win a really good pet. They literally just changed the sign. And they send me a trade. Because I don't want to give scammers legendaries, I'm just going to say that my only pet is this. And I'm going to do a sub story telling them that this is my only pet and that I just started. To find out, will they scam someone who literally just started the game? They said, I will not your best pet. So let's chuck in a sea snake, I guess. And find out if this is a scam. They didn't want to take my best pet, which is definitely interesting. The trade was successful. Now I'm going to pick blue, because why not? What is behind pink? Pink was... I don't know, I can't see it. Win. What is behind blue? Did I lose? Did I lose? I think I lost, guys. I mean, there's a chance that that was a legit thing and it says win behind both of them. I mean, she might have just gone and edited that to say lose, like, the second that I lost. They sent me a trade request. And they added a pizza and some cotton candy? I don't know what's going on, but I guess I didn't actually get scammed. Obviously, there are some players out there who do pick a door legitimately, and they're just trying to do it to go and gain pets. Now, I feel bad. Oh no, you don't need to feel bad. You know what? Let's surprise Jessica. Jessica's best pet is a golden ride mummy cat. And we're gonna surprise her by going and giving away this bee for free. Your bee. Not for long, Jessica. Please take it. Because although I've been scammed a bunch of times, going and giving back to the community is a lot more fun. I'd much prefer to give my pets to someone who needs them rather than a scammer. Click this video here if you want to see me rank every single Adopt Me Legendary Pet and find out what my favorite legendary pet is and the most hated one.